combination of musical instrument and the common types of guitar are acoustic or hollow guitar and the electrical guitar above the notes each string have each different kinds of notes and that has sign or small b sign indicates that these are the sharp note or flat note and about the scale there are different scale but we played on we only played with the common scale in general okay and according to scale every notes every chords of the songs can be find out so then after this let's move to guitar parts Okay then, now let's move to chords and strumming. First chord, our first section is, let's uh, talk about the major chords. There are, you know, different chords, among them, major and minor. If you just learn major and minor chords, then you can play any kind of song. Now, let's talk about the major chords. First is A major. Okay, the position for A major is this one. On the second fret, from second string to fourth string, your these three fingers should be like this position, in this position. Okay, your first finger in second fret, fourth string, and your middle finger, second fret, third string, and your ring finger it should be on second fret second string like this way this is your a major chord and this is called open a major chords you can play it on bar as well but let's not talk it now bar chords it will be you know very difficult for the beginner but we will so these all chords slowly in next video okay now open a major chords and let's move to open b major chords if you just slightly move your hands into the fourth fret then it is your b major chord similar to a major just move to two fret down okay this is your d major chords and about the C major chords, your finger position will be like this way. Your first finger, first fret, second string. Your middle finger, second fret, fourth string. And your ring finger, it should be on third fret, fifth string. This is your open C major position. Okay. Now, after C, let's talk about the D major chord. For that your finger position will be like this way your first finger on second fret third string your middle finger second fret first string and your ring finger it should be on third fret second string this is your open D major chord after that E major chord for that your finger position will be like this your first finger first fret third string and middle and ring finger it should be on second fret fifth and fourth string this is E major and about the F your finger position must be like this this is your F open major chords okay it is similar to C but your middle finger should be one step down and your pinky finger it should be on fourth sorry third fret fourth string this is your open F major chord and about the G your finger position must be like this okay these two fingers should be on third fret second and first string and your first and middle finger should be on fifth string and sixth string of second fret and third fret
okay this is very simple um, all open major chords okay there are other you know a major sharp b major sharp sharp chords are there but uh, it should be you know a little bit difficult for you to uh, learn at the very first stage so slowly you learn it now let's talk about the minor open chords okay first one is a minor chord this is your a minor chord your first finger first fret second string and this two finger middle and ring finger it should be on second fret fourth and third string this is your a minor chord and about b your finger position is like this similar to a minor remove your hand from uh, this position to two step down and keep your first finger on second fret first string this is your b minor chord and about the c uh, it should be on bar position like this way this is your c minor or uh, if it is difficult for you to keep this finger like this way then let's not talk about the c minor later on you will be able to you know keep your finger like this way too after a few practice okay and about the d minor your finger position should be like this this is your d minor first finger should be first fret first string middle finger should be second fret third string and ring finger should be third fret second string this is your d minor chord and another chord is e minor chord e minor chord is simple chord this is your e minor chord second fret fifth and fourth string middle and ring finger this is your e minor chord and about the f chord it should be on like this way this is bar chord it will be difficult for you but it's uh, it, it will you know it will be easy later on this is your bar chord okay you learn it and about the g this is your g it is also on bar chord okay these chords are you know rarely used so after a few practice you learn it this is your g minor chord okay these are the very common and you know uh, useful chords to sing any kind of song okay uh, you do on practice now simply let's talk about the strumming uh, you know a way of strumming easy way of strumming okay this is your peak you can strum with uh, without peak or with peak uh, it sounds better if you practice with the peak okay this is peak if you uh, if you want to play you know lead part then uh, the way of handling the way of taking this peak will be like this way okay uh, it should be you know just between your first finger and thumb finger okay keep your first finger like this way and your thumb finger just perpendicular to it and just hold your key like this way so it will not move backward and you know just practice simple up down up down up down strumming pattern okay there are different types of strumming pattern according to song your strumming pattern will be differ okay just go on practicing up down up down up up down up down up down like this way and, and you will be on you know after few practice you will be on your own path of strumming so guys this is all about and i hope uh, you learn something from this video and uh, you do on practice and uh, you know because our next video will be about the lesson of song so we get ready to learn it okay and thank you so much for your kind attention again thank you so much